I'm JP Hunt with Inksoft, and in this video, I'm gonna showcase a powerful new feature that's gonna allow you, as an Inksoft customer, to really leverage digital marketing and advertising tools to get the most from Inksoft online stores, of course, to boost your sales conversion, and ultimately, your sales results. So let's get into it. Here I am at an Inksoft powered online store, and what I'm gonna do now is click on Store Admin, and from Store Admin, I'll click on Store Settings. Now I'll call your attention to the very bottom under the advanced heading where you'll see a brand new series of options called developer settings. Now this uh, area will grow over time with advanced functionality, but at present there are two new features here. And I'll give you indication of the first, but we're gonna spend a majority of our time on the second. So here at the very top, notice you can now browse and select a custom CSS file. Now this allows you to program and really code a custom style sheet, which is gonna override the default settings and styles of each Inksoft online store. So for those of you with the skills, uh, or whether you wanna to go to like Upwork, for example, and hire out for somebody to design a custom look and layout for your Inksoft store, this is the ability now to associate a custom style sheet to any Inksoft store to have full control over the styling and look of that store. Now, again, I'm gonna call your attention to the second feature here, which is embedded scripts. So this is a feature that allows you to leverage things like Google Analytics, Google AdWords, uh, things like Facebook, uh, to integrate those marketing tools and resources into your online stores to do things like measure website traffic and of course understand where traffic's coming from, referring links. But most importantly, when you're using you know, things like Google AdWords and even Facebook to do paid ad campaigns, this is your ability to measure the performance of those campaigns, so track conversion. Uh, at the same time, you know the added uh, functionality of being able to retarget and remarket to website visitors. So let's say that we're using things like uh, the Facebook Pixel to understand a visitor and be able to display messaging and ads to that visitor as they continue to browse the internet at large. So really it allows you to stay in front of consumers to compel them to purchase more, to revisit, to complete their purchase. This is just a great way to tap in and really leverage, again, digital marketing tools that are available to you. So in this case, let's say that you set up, again, a Google AdWord account and you set up an ad. Of course, you're gonna get a script that you can then embed into this field here. So I'm gonna paste in a chat bot and I'll, I'll use that as my example. So really the use cases here you know, go well beyond just digital marketing and advertising, but think about lead generation. Think about displaying maybe a exit intent you know, to, to get an email address, uh, to display maybe an incentive, uh, live chat, chat bots. You know? So there's so many use cases for this uh, technology here. But really in this box, you'll just paste in the third party script from whatever tools that you're using. And notice you can paste in multiple scripts. So so long as you just return, go to the next line, you can paste in multiple scripts. Now I wanna call out that there is an activate scripts toggle here. Now in the event that you wanna make these scripts fire, you wanna make them live, you'll go ahead and toggle the activate scripts before clicking save and publish. Now the reason that we have that, it's possible to sort of keep your scripts in a draft state uh, that way, when you're ready to launch a store, you can then activate those scripts to fire. So maybe you don't want to uh, track your, maybe you're testing your store and you're doing some work to prepare the store. Maybe you don't want to track uh, those activities. And so you can, again, keep those scripts in a draft state and choose to fire them by toggling the on for activate scripts. So when I go ahead and click save and publish, and what we'll do is we'll now go to the store front so we can see the front of our website. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page just to make sure that that script is firing. But what you'll notice in the very bottom right is you're now gonna see that chatbot function that we had just added using that script. So as your shoppers go to your website and they're browsing products, uh, this is your ability to maintain a uh, you know maybe a chat dialogue so you can communicate with them, chatbot to, to solicit information or maybe showcase a products on sale. Of course, many of the scripts that you might be using are gonna be invisible to a consumer. They're gonna be things you know, that are recording conversion, again, website traffic, again, other things that operate behind the scenes. Now, I do wanna call out something that's really important uh, with this functionality. If you want granular control over where scripts fire, what, it, what events and conditions they fire on, uh, you'll wanna take advantage of Google Tag Manager. 
Now, of course, Inksoft has long been integrated with Google Tag Manager, which is a free tool from Google, uh, which is pretty amazing. And what this tool allows you to do is you can embed one script, one Google Tag Manager script, and using Google Tag Manager's interface, you can set up all of the scripts and tags that you want to fire, and you can control everything about when and where and how those scripts and those events occur. So if you're a savvy digital marketer and you need uber, you know, granular control over, again, the, um, the way, you know, scripts will behave and perform, you'll certainly want to take advantage of Google Tag Manager and just uh, uh, paste in your Google Tag Manager script here and then use Google Tag Manager to do all the administration. So this is, uh, again, just an acknowledgement of this new functionality. We're super excited about this. What comes next? We are going to get underway producing and we're going to start with the sort of beginner to intermediate to advanced. We're going to do a whole series of training videos that show you how to take advantage of some of the tools that I've mentioned. So how to actually set up a Google AdWord campaign, how to get your conversion tracking script into your Inksoft store. Uh, so again, we'll start with the basics to make sure we're establishing a fundamental understanding of how to take advantage of these tools. And then we'll get into the nitty gritty and get into more of the advanced uh, functionality. So stay tuned again for those resources uh, from Inksoft. We'll make those available in our, of course, our customer newsletter uh, through social media, through blog postings. So definitely keep an eye open for those. Uh, you'll certainly want to participate to learn how to, you can, uh, again, leverage all this technology uh, to maximize your conversion and your sales opportunities using Inksoft online stores.